More than 75 people gathered at Nichols Library in late May for the second Asian Youth Arts Exhibition. We have 30 pieces and then 17 artists. A lot of these pieces really just demonstrate the students' individuality, their passions, their struggles. I think it's really impactful. Recent Naperville North High School graduate Isabel Yu was one of seven students who coordinated the second annual showcase. She displayed her homemade jewelry and three art pieces. It says in Chinese letters on the phone there, I love you, Grandma, kind of just to show my efforts trying to reconnect with my heritage and, you know, my grandma. And I think that piece is the most meaningful to me. Along with the artwork, three area students kicked off the showcase with musical performances. The first Asian Youth Arts Exhibition was organized by recent Naperville North High School graduates Annie Chang and Audrey Yoon. During their junior year, the pair founded Asian Youth Arts, an organization of students at Naperville North involved with art. Last year, Chang and Yoon reached out to Naperville nonprofit Chinese American Women in Action to help get the event off the ground. The first time when they came to me, they said, you know, we want to have this art show to allow a lot of students who are good artists, but they may not go on to become artists in a college, but they still want to show their talents. At the event, Naperville Mayor Scott Worley delivered a proclamation celebrating Asian American and Pacific Islander Heritage Month. Chen and Kawa youth representatives, in turn, presented Worley with a traditional Chinese art piece. Sometimes our differences are what make our relationships stronger. And here we are today celebrating yet another successful Kawa event, learning about each other, sharing art, sharing music, sharing the enlightenment. It's a beautiful thing that you put together here. Reporting for Naperville News 17, I'm Will Payne.